So another crab's treasure is uh, basically Dark Bob Souls pants. This is Nick, and he's the studio head of Agro Crab Games, the team working on another crab's treasure. The game is coming to PC and Switch sometime this year, and they recently showed off a demo on the Kinda Funny Games stream this week. Every time I see something from this game, I get more and more excited, and today is no exception. So excuse the weird cropping of this one, and if you do want to see the full demo, head on over to the stream linked below. Another Crab's Treasure essentially asks the question, what if Nintendo took their shot at a Souls-like? Despite its cutesy appearance though, this game will still be challenging, but maybe a little less punishing. One example of how they're doing this is by eliminating the long replay loop in between deaths, which is probably my least favorite part of the genre. But AgroCrab still wants to show people that it can be fun to struggle, so don't mistake this one for a walk in the park. The FromSoft game this took the most inspiration from is clearly Sekiro, and there's a pretty big emphasis on platforming here as well as blocking and parrying. Since you play as a hermit crab, the best offense is a good defense. In this case, the various shells that you'll pick up as you explore this world. A little backstory for all of you wondering why there's so much trash floating around. The sea has been polluted by a mysterious substance called the gunk, and we are on a quest to find out what happened and to try to clean things up. Unfortunately, our shell was just repossessed by a lone shark, so we'll have to use various pieces of trash as a shell to protect us on our journey. But fortunately, each shell has its own stats and special magic abilities. For example, the soda can shell can be used to roll around in and move through the world more quickly. But our main tool for traversal is the grappling hook, and our weapon of choice is a tiny fork. There's also apparently a pretty extensive skill tree that allows you to use the fork in a lot of creative ways, but it is the only weapon in the game aside from maybe a few special items. Here's a look at our character status menu, and it's a pretty big vibe. Whoever was in charge of UI did a phenomenal job because I just want to stare at the screen all day. This demo is from the first area in the game, so there's not much going on in terms of upgrades or techniques, but it does seem like there will be a lot of ways to customize our build, and that'll be very important in helping us to defeat the 14 plus bosses of Another Crab's Treasure. It seems like they had a ton of fun with the character and boss designs in the game. Basically, they thought of a sea creature and then a funny piece of trash that they might use as a weapon. Agro Crab is clearly pouring their heart and souls into this game and adding their own flavor and sense of humor to the Souls-like genre, and I think that's exactly what we need right now. The team has doubled in size since the creation of their first game, Going Under, and they've been able to improve combat specifically a lot more since then. Although Another Crab's Treasure has only been in development for two or three years, this is the dream game that Nick has been wanting to make even before he founded Agro Crab. And I'm really glad he's finally gotten the team and resources together to make this one because it looks really special. As I mentioned earlier, the game will be swimming over to PC and Switch later this year, and I'm hoping we get more news soon. In the meantime, you can learn more about the game here or check out something new.